Hello, everyone. That's a lot of people very, very quickly. How are ya? How are ya? Yeah. Just let me look for a photo. And the pro, and the pro, oh, yes, this is very. Let's put something in the background real quick. And then maybe we can forget about life for a little bit. I can see it. I don't know what this is anyway. Uh, let me share this around real quick. Real quick. And apologies again for the lag. It always lagging. The video is always lagging. I don't know how to fix that. Anyway, there we go. Let's put this in the back, and yes, there we go, perfect. This, this is the story of a man named Brady. There you go, that looks a little bit better. Let's put, right, sorry, I'm a bit transparent in this one, I don't know why. <clears throat> anyway, how 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 are you? <laughs> are you okay? I'm I'm okay. Are you okay? Let me share this on Twitter and Discord and all that fun stuff, so then we can have some fun, huh? Try, try at least. I, yeah, I, I kind of figured that there would be a lot of people here. Um, over oh fuck, over over a thousand already. God damn it! All right, so, <laughs> um, okay, this is like the closest to PewDiePie I've ever gotten in the chat. It's like to totally crazy, and I and I can't hear anything. Um, I can't read anything and can't hear anything, and you can't hear anything too. Am I too quiet? Let's see. We'll hear. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're too quiet. Turn up. Turn up for what? Turn up for what? Okay, let's turn up just a little, 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 little bit. Are we okay? This is better for you? Okay. Let's go around here. Share it on Discord. Thank you, Dr. Joey Andrigon. God damn, this chat is crazy. So I want to talk about some things, you know? Usually it's very relaxing and very chill, very happy, fun time talking about Chris and me and and anything you want it to be. But can we turn on slow mode? Can we? How do I, oh, fuck? Fuck! How do we turn on slow mode? I don't know. I can't figure it out. I've I've never done slow mode. There was never a need for slow mode. <laughs> God damn. So in case you can't see from the title, this is a hiatus stream, which means I am announcing my hiatus officially right here. No coffee, no tea, no me. We are here, but we are in the background. In the foreground is the hiatus and whatever the hell happened to this. Okay. In case you don't know, I'm going to talk about it, all right? I'm going to, I guess I'm going to put on some music in the background, but I didn't find anything too appropriate for this. Like, should I go with uh, with the casual piano? Wait, where did I get this from? Oh, I see. Okay. So, what kind of music is the best fit for this situation in particular? Because I don't think there's anything quite properly appropriate. Uh, I'm going to turn to shuffle on this, and hopefully it'll, it'll turn out okay. A very Brady special. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin McLeod. Anyway. No. Not this. Okay. So this is more appropriate. How are you doing? Almost 2,000 people. How are you? Nothing could ever be appropriate for this. Yes, nothing's ever appropriate. So let's talk about what happened. So I I uploaded part 59. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can keep watching 1 to 59 up until early 2022 is when I will is when I will um, return. 
So I'm putting the show on hiatus or on a break for about half a year.、Um, originally, I, I announced this on my Patreon, and I said I was gonna go until part 60, which will be uploaded later this month or in August.、Um, but I've changed those plans in the in the aftermath of what happened about 48 hours ago. So if you don't know, let me tell you what happened. So to preface this, there's a thing called Everfree in Seattle, in Seattle, Washington, I think, and it's a My Little Pony convention, which Chris was really keen on, on attending, but Chris needed the money and so far away,、um, there was no chance in hell that Chris would be driving to the convention. So Null, the administrator, the the creator of the Kiwi Farms, and main <clears throat> wrangler. You, you might say of Chris、uh, set up a GoFundMe. That was a bit slow for a little bit.、Um, they set up a GoFundMe to collect funds from people on whatever Twitter or Kiwi Farms to make Chris go to Everfree the convention、um, by plane, obviously by plane. So seven hundred fifty dollars would be the plane ticket, and then the rest would be for emergencies, whatever. So the GoFundMe ended with a five thousand dollar cap. So Chris got five thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. So, but what Chris had to do in return was to、um, basically fulfill commissions like a drawing request or video requests in return for the money. And Noel was very surprised by Chris's worth ethic, work ethic. Because Chris was fulfilling what she had to do, so everything was well and good. And Chris had like five thousand—I mean, about four thousand and change of dollars in reserve, just just in case, which was great, you know. So what happened about two days ago? It was a it was a Friday for me.、Um, a video leaked of a of a voice conversation, a voice chat on Discord between Chris. And an unknown party, a seemingly female party.、Um, first, it was a four-minute-long video with just、um, with just Chris's side of the conversation. Later on, it was nine and a half minutes of the full conversation be- between the the two of them, I think. But more 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 details were cut out to to protect the identity of the other party, which is understandable. Whatever her her real name or her address, whatever it's okay. Whatever. Anyway, so during this conversation. Chris very, very candidly, very、um, freely, talked about、um, having having sexual relations with her mother Barbara, and then things blew up after that.、Um, people were in disbelief because the original recording was very heavily edited because. You didn't hear the、uh, questions being asked by the other party, by the other troll idea idea girl. I don't know, I don't, I don't know who she is at the moment. As far as we know, we don't know. There is a there is a Bella involved. There is a tenth anonymous involved. There is a Fiona as well. But I'm not sure what those people are and how they relate to this story. And、um, so yeah, things were discussed and people were disgusted. At first, they they thought that was just a compilation of、um, of, of of various Chris conversations compiled together to make it seem like Chris is talking about having sex with Barbara. But as it turns out, if you listen to the nine and a half minute log、um, chat between the woman and the Chris,、um, it correlates perfectly with the questions being asked. And yes, it is in fact、uh, an account of Chris's sexual experiences with her mother. Barbara, her eighty-year-old mother, Barbara. During the chat, Chris reflected that at first Barbara said no, and she was slightly confused at what was happening. But Chris kept going. People were alarmed, and Null was very confused. <laughs> He said, "What the fuck?" He asked Chris, "What the fuck?" and、um, 
At first, Null supposed that Chris was hiding something, that he was telling a lie to hide something, um, <laughs> which is totally weird because Chris was lying about having sex with her mother to to hide up to to like cover up a different kind of truth, which would be more embarrassing than Chris confessing to have sex with her mother. Anyway, what what, what Null thought was happening? Was as far as Null knew for like a whole month now, Null thought that according to Chris, Chris sent uh, Null text messages that Chris was involved with a uh, with a sexual relationship with an over fifty year old woman with child with a with a child. So, so apparently, according to Chris, like last month, Chris said that they've been, you know discovering each other's bodies and having sex and was nice and lovely and he was getting and sorry and she was getting to know the woman and um yeah it was like a loving relationship between chris and this 50 something year old woman as far as null knew and on and, and that's what null thought chris was covering up for because chris didn't want the trolls to know that chris had a girlfriend so it's better to lie about like brag about having sex but lie about the person she was having sex with so Chris selected her mother, which which blew up in her face. Uh, turns out not true. Turns out Null got the other way around. Chris was actually lying about having a over fifties year old girlfriend when talking about Null because, as Null thought, Chris wanted to brag about having sex, but didn't want to, but didn't want to discuss um, who she was having sex with. Because it would be more embarrassing. So Chris lied about having sex with her mother and said said it was a girlfriend. So so this was what was happening. So this is why Noel was very hesitant at first. And Noel was still supportive and thought that just Chris made a huge, huge error of judgment as Chris is known to do. And my music died. Why? Why did why did my music die? Let's bring back the music. Open all of them. Perfect. Anyway, <clears throat> so this 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 happened um, on that day, on that Friday, I guess. Over 200 calls were sent to the police department, the local de police department, who was in charge of the Ruckersville area, and police were called, I think, and and Barbara and Chris were separated, forci forcibly separated. Uh, Barbara was being examined by. A medical official in some safe place while Chris was told by social services I, I imagine that there was a emergency protective order or EPO set out against Chris so that means that Chris and Barbara cannot contact each other cannot meet each other um, until August 6th I think so it's kind of like a restraining order like a like a emergency restraining order basically <laughs> So that was, that was what was happening. Uh, at that time, Chris had minus $200 in her account and did not have a place to stay. She was going to stay with some extended family members, but they rescinded their invitation upon learning, I guess, what happened. So then Chris slept the night in her car, I think, in a parking lot. And after that, she acquired funds for a hotel, I believe. So the thing is, is that Null actually has the passwords for for Chris's email account because since the idea guys happened Null was kind of in charge of um, filtering through through email messages and protecting Chris in a way and saying and, and telling to obvious trolls to fuck off and don't spam you know just kind of managing her her email account and, and business inquiries so so Null had access to Chris's email account and then after this all happened Null received $750 from Barbara, as as she's known to do, but but this would not be happening. This should not be happening in the uh, in this situation in particular. So Null Null said, "Why did Barbara send you money?" And then Chris said, "No, she didn't." Lying to Null's face again and again. So Null provided a screenshot of the notification that that Null received in Chris's email saying, Barbara just sent you $750 via PayPal, I imagine. And then Chris had to confess 
that Chris had access to Barbara's account, had her well, login details, and because she needed money, she basically logged into Barbara's account without her knowing, and then sent $750 from Barbara's account into Chris's account, this way acquiring money. And then, then they'll said this is in violation of the EPO or the Emergency Protective Order, because because Chris is coming in contact with Barbara's account and whatever. And Null called the police, and Null blocked Chris, and now Null is not connected to Chris in any way. Finally, I mean, people have been saying all for a very long time that Chris is a fucking idiot. So, well, that's. There's nothing. But Null, Null is a fucking idiot for keeping up with, with Chris for as long as he did. Huh. Man, the, man, this these news, I'm pretty sure everyone has heard about it, obviously. Everyone, literally, if you... Whatever community you're, you're, you're a part of, whether you, whether, whether you know about Chris or not, you know about Chris now. This kind of... Some people have described this as the 9-11 of the internet. <laughs> Because this was like the biggest news on Twitter, and man, four thousand viewers, concurrent viewers at the at. God damn it, this is a big day. So. So now what's next is that the police are not, I, I don't believe Chris is arrested yet, or I'll, she might have been, uh, because of the, because, sorry, because of the breach of the EPO, but then not because of what she did, because uh, the police is not in charge of um, pr protecting people, and they're, they're not, they're not made for preventing a crime before it happens. Um, they're there to, you know, show up to the crime scene after it happens. So, um, once it is determined by health officials, I guess, whether Barbara had, had in fact become, was sexually assaulted by Chris, then they can press charges. The funny part about this is that it's very unclear in this relationship who is the, um, who is the caretaker. Because is Barbara the caretaker for Chris? Because she is the adult. I mean, they're both God damn it. they're both adults, but Chris is the adult, adult or adult, and Chris is autistic. Or is Chris the caretaker because Barbara is elderly and possibly has dementia? So in this case, if 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 it's only the if if there's only one consenting party in this, if it wasn't, if if this was rape, um, only the caretaker would then be charged. However, if it was consensual, as Chris kind of implied, if Barbara wanted this to happen, then they both get arrested and charged with with, with uh, incest. At first, I thought maybe Chris is just imagining this, like you know, as Chris is known to do. Maybe Chris was having sex with uh, with a Quickfield Dimension version of Barbara, Barbara Chan. Uh, seems like no. It's a uh, it's a big no on that one. It's a big no on that one. Um, thank you, everyone, for for sending your 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 condolences to me on Twitter. I greatly appreciate all your seventy five hundred messages. Thank you very much. I'm doing very well. <laughs> no, don't worry about me. <laughs> mm, yes. <sighs> we've all we've all should have seen it happen. Thing is, people when they when they talked about Chris having sex with with her mother, they said it in a very joking way, because Chris obviously was very very openly attached to her mother very lovey-dovey with her and people thought it was weird and it was the fact that uh, Barb actually forced Chris to uh, spoon with her and live in the and sleep in the same bed together for a while 
and she would throw hissy fits and threaten to kill herself if Chris didn't sleep with her. So, you know, we should have seen that coming, but we thought it was way too ridiculous, even for even for the Kiwi Farms people. We, th we thought it was just, you know, manipulative, weird, and nothing more. No one thought that Chris would actually be able to to actually rape someone. I mean, when, when people think about rape, they, you know, they, they think about maybe, you know, assaulting a woman on, on, on the street and taking her away and, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, no one thought of that Chris could actually do that. Well, Chris didn't. Chris did it in a more safe place. A more safe place, which is the most, the most, most the most appalling way you could probably, uh, you know, rape someone. Uh, take advantage of them when they are barely aware of what is even happening. Probably, I mean, people have been doubting whether whether Barbara is, uh, f you know, functioning up there or not. Um, in any, in any case, this is uh, this is beyond words. <laughs> uh, apparently, according to Chris, um, Bob never properly satisfied Barbara and never hit her G spot. Whereas Chris can. And Chris said to know that they used a condom, which is interesting. Which which would imply that Chris used her penis. Um You remember that that fan that fan drawing that parody of She Came for Quick where Megan was replaced with Barbara with with Barbara and this was like Chris um finger blasting Barbara. That was this was made during the the uh, Wikipedia days. It was like an advertisement which which horrified Chris. Um, goddamn, the amount of foreshadowing in Chris's life is off the chain. Oh my god. So let's look at this lovely picture of Barbara and Chris. I'm glad that that you people have a lot to say because I have not much to say. 4.5 thousand. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of views, man. Which is why I made some talking points. I've written them down here because I knew that this that this um, stream might get a little bit crazy and I might lose my train of thought. So I've written them down so I don't forget. Um, talking points. Break until 2022. Let's address that now. Um, so I, I originally planned to go on a break on a on a mental sabbatical. That's it. On a sabbatical <laughs> to refresh my mind and because I'm feeling quite under pressure because I have a lots of projects to do both on my music channel and my documentary channel links in the description below please check them out Gino Samuel on YouTube or Gino Samuel 3 on YouTube for the documentaries so I was gonna go on break after part 60 which would be uploaded later this month is that's not gonna happen um, I felt that I, I, I could still keep going and upload 60 and then go on a break, but upon reassessing this situation at the moment, I, I feel be a bit too advantageous and taking advantage of ugh, a very disgusting si situation that's currently still being developed by making more Christian content. So I want to wait until this this kind of dies down a little bit more so we have a better idea of what, of what has happened. Um, and then I'll come back in 2022 with part 60. Sorry, guys, you're going to have to watch something else in the moment. How about my documentary channel? Maybe that's a good idea. So if you still want to support me and what I do in music and documentaries that are not about Christian, please check out my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Gino Samuel. Link is over here i think so yeah I, I need to do this more more tastefully that's why I'm, I'm i'm backing away for a little bit so that's one point another point in the um 
people have done this before, but a couple of more people have done this in the aftermath of these revelations, is that some people involved with Chris in some way or another have requested not to be featured in the documentary. Uh, and I will respect their wishes. So this is not me changing history. This is this is respecting people who are, as far as I'm aware, they they really did not do, <clears throat> they really did not do damage to Chris. They were in conversations with Chris and some interactions with Chris. But uh, please don't be surprised if you're if you're missing if you're if you're noticing some missing pieces uh, in future documentary episodes. Some people have requested to not be a part of this documentary and that's that's totally fine by me in the um in the aftermath of what has happened i totally understand that's okay so just please be aware i'm not forgetting something i'm not missing details i'm respecting someone else's wishes to remain more more private because this is a very this is a very a very public forum i'm very well aware that many people watch this hundreds of thousands apparently and um yeah if they if they don't want to have their name attached to this this thing uh that's 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 totally fine I, and i hope you can accept that too you'll find out um like who like i'm i'm not going to tell you <laughs> uh but anyway the uh the uh, chris the Chris story will will continue, and I promise you, I promise you, you probably won't even notice. You probably won't even notice, honestly, if you've, you know, it's, it'll be it'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Next, other topics. So there are other topics that I want to discuss in the in the documentary channel, which is Geno Samuel three. Please subscribe to Geno's Terminal 3 because I will be uploading my docs on that channel, not this one. That one is actually monetized and I and I make mad bank with my uploads. Yo. And I don't on this one because this one is not monetized. Even though this one has the most subscribers, the most views, the most attention, I try to get it monetized. I try to get Geno Samuel 2 monetized before. Um, back then I had only parts 12 done. Parts 1 to 12. And then, um, and then I was reviewed, manually reviewed, and I was terminated for having at least three strikes for bullying. Bullying is um, is something not that I did not do, but I just talked about bullying. And the issue with YouTube is that you can't even talk about bullying because that is bullying. Um, unfortunately, that is that is the reality of that. So I cannot bring up. Uh, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to pass over Christian content onto Gino Samuel 3 because that'll be monetized, but people might think that it's bullying and then have my monetized account terminated. So I have to, I have to concede and go to Gino Samuel 2.1, which is not monetized, and will hold all the Christian content here, and it will not, it will not, um, and because at any, at any minute, at any second, I... I might get terminated as well with this channel. So if if that happens, only the Christian content goes down and not my other other docs. On my documentary channel, I largely focus on yokai, which are Japanese monsters of myth and folklore. Also, before that, I made one like feature-length documentary about the PMRC, um, a music censorship fiasco of, of 1950 of 1985 so please check that one out as well i will be making yes yes i'm gonna do that under the channel so section yes i will be i will be ad ad advertising these more i've already discovered how to do that on my music channel so my music channel has links to this one and then the doc channel and then every other channel will have will <laughs> will have links to the uh, other channels so you can get all your information Yurokai docs are awesome. Please keep them up. Thank you very much. Watching the PMRC one for sure. Please do. Uh, I have other topics. Why only Japanese? Why only Japanese monsters? I am very interested in other in, in the other monsters as well from other folklores as well. Uh, but the the thing is, I can't really. I I couldn't really do all that much because 
of the Christian because because Christian was taking up so much of my time I couldn't focus on any others on any of those on any other subjects and especially my, my my music because I have a album coming up which is really funkadelic really psychedelic and I hope you'll like it but I want to get it done as soon as possible but I can't because of Christian so hopefully on this break I can get a lot of stuff done in in other avenues that I'm really interested in Yokai are monsters of myth and folklore. Please check out my doc channel for more information. Thank you very much. Thank you for understanding. Like, um... I got, um, subjects that I want to cover for long-form, long-form documentaries and more shorter ones. Next one I'm really interested in. I'm already kind of, kind of writing this, the script for this. And doing the research on this, a lot of research has to go in, has to go into this. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a little hint of what this is, without without saying much. If you know, you know, you know. So I'm gonna show you a little, a little hint over here. Dun, dun. So if you know, you know, this will, I think this will be the, uh, the subject of my next talk on my channel, on my, on my documentary channel. This will be a long one, at least 40 minutes, I think. Could you suck it on a yokai? Apparently she is. Apparently she is accepted as a yokai now. Stigma freaking rocked. I have high hopes for your new stuff. Thank you very much, Potato King. Shackleton, close. South Pole, yes. Japan's fine. Jesus, Ingmar Bergman. Franklin, no. Shackleton, it's not Shackleton though. It's the other guy. Captain Scott. Robert Falcon Scott. I think you got it. I think you got it. Anyway. Robert Falcon Scott. Which is a story which really intrigued me since I was um, since I was a a wee young lad, and I'm glad that I think I have the chops to make a to make a worthy doc documentary about that subject about that expedition. And it's not just Scott; it's about um, it's about other stuff as well. Like there was another expedition which was really really horrible. Um, it was like it was like a, a different exp no it was a no it was a, it was a different party in the same expedition it was the Terra Nova expedition and um, one party went to the South Pole and another party went to to retrieve some some penguin eggs which was um, both were disastrous expeditions um, in one in one half everyone died in in another one they survived incredibly horrible conditions but they did come back eventually I rabu you geno thank you <laughs> I rabu you geno thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you stop it <laughs> I got it thank you ever been to Scotland no but I want to cover a, a Scottish legend as well in in a future documentary topic um do you know William McGonagall, the so-called worst poet in history, who who has a lot of similarities to Christian? Honestly, really does. It's kind of creepy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one. Okie's weird stories. Hey, hello. Now it's getting a bit more chill. Um, like over a thousand people left, which is. Hello, new patrons. I'm not. I'm not expecting new patrons, honestly. But thank you very much. <laughs> um, or is it what they had? Is the recent news? Yes, it is. I am from guess. Guess where I'm from? Gigi Allen and comprehensive history would be neat. That would be cool. McGonagall is Chris in a prior life. That's really creepy. It, 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 he really is. I left you a screenshot in mod chat on Discord. I had to put on slow mode. I don't. I, don't, I feel like I don't need any more. The worst. 
The worst has happened. John Carpenter's The Thing vibes. That's interesting. That's interesting because um, I'm planning on making all the music. Jam on guitar. Let's put some jam on my guitar. <laughs> That's okay. I'm okay. I'm not dead. <laughs> my screen almost fell down. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, but I cannot, that means I cannot get my guitar without, um, without uh, dropping my facade, so I'll just keep this here, um, that's good enough. <laughs> Lithuania, I think you got it there. Gino's Discord server, that's right, if you want to join, for some reason, join my Discord server, thank you Dr. Joey. Estonia, that was close. What's my day job? Uh, day job is English teacher for an after school arrangement thing um, play some wrist on my guy clip chat what's your guitar setup I have uh, lots of guitars I have uh, I have two electric guitars one acoustic and two basses I'm missing one more bass I need a fucking Rickenbacker 4001 or 4003 that's what I need like like Chris Squire. I had my eyes on a Rickenbacker on the same day that I bought my latest guitar, which was a Gretsch, but we did not have the funds for that. Maybe, maybe next birthday, maybe, maybe for Christmas, I don't know. I really want a fucking Rickenbacker. I'm not in San Diego, God damn it. That's it. I was I was gonna, I was gonna talk about the music for the Edward Falcon Scott for the for the Terra Nova um, Antarctic expedition. I'm gonna make the whole music myself, and I'm very heavily inspired by John Carpenter's music, or I mean, Ennio Morricone's music in the thing. Um, I'm gonna make it more synth based, like entirely, almost entirely synth based, kind of like a '80s '80s synth drones and stuff like that and like don't 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 like that which which I think is interesting uh to contrast that with um with the imagery and the and the whole story of it being set in 1911 you know the ele the electronic music doesn't quite fit but it does trust me on that okay that's that's all I was going to say I look exactly like a good friend of mine who's moving to Japan to teach English next year. Are you someone I knew three years ago? Yes, yes, I live in Japan. Doku ni sunde masu ka? I live in Tokyo. Vangelis, Vangelis is cool too. Ennio Morricone had some amazing music. I think he died, right? That was a... Mm, yeah. You did a great job in spite of the craziness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Wildcat. Tubular Bells, are you going to talk about yourself in the documentary? Yes, I am. And I do like Jean-Michel Jarre too. Especially, um... Uh... The first track on the Ethnic Color album. No, so no, no, it, no, no. The track is called Ethnic Color and the album is Zuluk. Ethnic Color sends chills, chills down your spine. That's amazing. Anyway, so... Yeah. In spite of what's happening, I'm going on hiatus. Don't worry about it. What does that mean? <laughs> Soundtrack to Beyond the Black Rainbow is made entirely with analog synths, and I definitely recommend it. <laughs> what was that one? What are the earthquakes? Hyori it, Hyori Itai? Huh? Is living in Beijing cool? I don't know. I never lived in Beijing. I'm going to live somewhere close to Shanghai eventually, but... um. No, never, never been there. Go on Trash Taste Podcast. I'm hopefully going... Huh? That was weird. I'm, I'm probably going on the... Um, I'm technically not married. But... <laughs> kind of am. Um, I'm going on the Super Mega Podcast eventually, hopefully now. And would you ever make... Extinct mammal documentaries. Probably not, but that's kind of cool. Uh, living in Tokyo during the Olympics. Not much people pay attention to it, honestly. 
if you looked at it yesterday, mo more people were interested in Christian bunking her mother than the Olympics. Um, I'm in Japan and your music is super comfy. Thank you, Sneed. Uh, do you think YouTube will remove Christian videos when the situation blows up? I mean, it hasn't already. <laughs> I feel like if it hasn't gone down now, it probably wouldn't. Why quit documentary guy, Gina? Why you quit? <sighs> Living in Sin, What Did I Miss So Far, Super Mega, What's Your Favorite Zappa Album? Probably something from the late 70s, early 80s, like You Are What You Is, Shake Your Booty, or Joe's Garage, somewhere around there. No, I'm not, I'm not engaged either, but, but we both know that we're going to get engaged, and we both know that we're going to get married and have kids, so... Will you make a cabbage too? <laughs> yes! I'll make a cabbage too, eventually. I'll get it done faster if I stop making this documentary. So, yes. Yes, I've talked... Um, lol cows. Oh. <clears throat> crazy prog guy? I mean, he was not that crazy. He was not that prog. So a bit Latvia. That's not right. Um. Okay, next announcement is... Let's turn on the music for this. Turn down. Good. Oh, this is a good one. Anyway. Next announcement is, please check out my documentary, Gino Samuel 3, my, my documentary channel. Please enjoy that in the six months interim period bef be between this and part 60, because part 60 will be in early 2022. So please don't wait up on that. <clears throat> Next announcement is, I am working on a very very interesting album which might be one of my best so far if i do say so myself but i need some help i need some help from other musicians i will reimburse you and uh and you will get the credits in the credits somewhere and you'll get a cut of the profits it may be tiny it may be it, it may be exceptional um depending on how much you can you contribute so if you are a guitar player, a sax player, any sax will do, a trumpet player, maybe a flute player, a trombone player. If you have any of those skills, please contact me via the email that is provided in the About section of my channel. And please provide some links, some links to your previous experiences, some examples of your experiences. Um, based it, um, no thanks, I'm... I'm I'm good for a bassist because I need some mostly soloists, mostly soloists. Um, so if you can provide a nice trumpet solo, guitar solo, alto sax solo, soprano sax solo, baritone sax solo, tenor sax solo, trombone solo, if you can do any of that, twenty-five percent of the profits per employee, maybe. If you're interested in any of that and contributing to this album, uh, please check out my About section and go to that email, provide some links to what... Yeah, big band stuff. Let's go. Exactly, exactly. Some big band stuff. If you are if you are able and interested, please contact me with some of your previous uh, experiences. And, uh, yep, let's have some fun. Uh, you can't super chat because this is not a monetized channel. Sorry about that. Justin Wang, he is dope on the guitar. Um, he's he's more of a metal guy. I need something more funk and jazzy. I'll show you a quick example of what I'm working on. I'm really proud of this stuff. Oh my gosh, you you you, you can't believe. If you're if you're into city pop, if you know what um what Takeo Chimari is, what Yamashita Tatsuro is, if you like Plastic Love, you might like this one. So I'm gonna give you a quick uh quick preview of what's coming up and if you're interested in this sort of music please please help me and contribute and I'll contribute back monetarily like this
No vocals yet, though. Doubled on stream, really? Just later, later this one. Sorry about that. What? Sorry about that. Why is it doubled on stream? How does this make any sense? God damn it. God damn it. This audio setup makes me fucking angry. Let me, let me, let me, let me check this. I see. I'm way too loud now. I see, I see, I see. How about this? I got it. This way. So much better than Cabbage too. <laughs> what do you mean playing twice? Not anymore. So anyway, if you're interested in that sort of music, please contact me, and, and then I can feature you in my next album as a soloist. Hopefully, a, mm, mostly a soloist. Um, the thing is, I can't, I can't really um, compose music written down. So, if possible, can you just like listen to what I'm playing and then and then learn how to play it yourself, if that's possible? That would really be helpful because this is how how I learn music, how how I play play music. So if you can't do that, I mean that's that's fine. But <laughs> like I'll I'll have to make do with my with my fake trumpet sounds, which is I'm honestly quite happy with the way they turned out. I have v, VST big band brass, and uh, the way I made it sounds pretty good. I think it sounds pretty convincing. I mean it's not as good as a real thing, but I think it's pretty good. Like Rainy Serenade, for example. Th this this needs a couple of solos in it. Bam. Self-taught, yeah. What's my music on Spotify? My music on Spotify is my music. Uh, I made, I think, 12 albums already, and they're all kind of slightly different sli uh, styles, each and every one of them. So if you like some sort of a hard rock, hard metal-ish music, uh, there's an album for that. If you want more acoustic, country-esque stuff, there's an album for that. If you're into synth pop, there's an album for that. Instrumentals, I got those. Vocals, I got those. Progressive rock, I got those. This is sort of like, um, since are very Genesis sounding. Really? Thank you. <laughs> I'm working on a on a Genesis cover song project as well with a with a, with a few other people online. Hey, this 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 melody is very difficult for me to, to sing. I can't I can't imagine it at, at the moment. Sorry. Let's go back. I'm out, I'm out of practice, but I'll, I'll try to sing this melody. Serenade, 
to run them. <laughs> Serenade. I need to warm up in the morning. That's why I shouldn't sing this. <sighs> anyway, if I stream for if I if I stream for long enough, I end up singing. So sorry about that. <laughs> Please check out my music channel, Gino Samuel, down below. There was some other, there was some other musician that offered offered his services to me back when I first start when 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 I first made the uh, plastic love video uh, for for sax and stuff. So, if he's still interested, so if he's still interested, um. I'll contact him, but I'd like some more. And I got some more offers. I'll check them out later. I guess I'm still, I'm still in, uh, I'm still in uh, Japan, yes. So. Really? Serenade. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, my uh, girlfriend is telling me that my audience is leaving, so I'll leave too. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so this is... What's the name of the hard rock album? Stigma. Stigma balls. Anyway, so this has been... What email should I send it to? Uh, in the About section, there should be one email in my About section on my... Uh, on my YouTube channel, that's it. So anyway, this is about this is about it. Um, in case you don't know, let's recap. I am going on a break, a well-deserved break, hopefully. Uh, Part fifty-nine will be my last for for quite a bit, and um, Part sixty will return in early twenty twenty-two. In the meantime, I will be doing more music, more documentaries on my other channels. Gino Samuel for the music and Gino Samuel 3 for the documentaries. So please subscribe to those. And hopefully you like what you like. If you want to support me monetarily, for, for example, uh, please, please go to my Patreon and see if there's anything that tickles your fancy. Um, at the moment... At the moment, the future is very unclear for me <laughs> and for Chris. Chris has been accused and admitted to having sexual relations with her mother. And um, it uh, might be some prison time, Might be she might be sent to a psychiatric hospital. We don't know it for the moment. So we'll see how this how the story develops. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be developing the story for you. Please look at look for other sources. Okay. Again, sorry for the news, but I will be back eventually, and hopefully, you like the other stuff that I do. Um. <laughs> so, it's not a goodbye. This is a see you later. Um, when I when I update big videos or significant videos on my other channels, I will do community posts on this channel so everyone can really really see them so please stay subscribed all right so and thank you again for your all your support i'm doing fine thank you for all your kind words i'm uh i i'm okay i'm not grieving i'm i'm, I'm fine and i'm very grateful for all the fans that have come around and thanks for sticking by for this long it's been crazy it's been wild hopefully you have a sane sane week a sane month. Hopefully, you take care of yourselves and take care of those around you. Again, stay safe. Have a good day. Salute.